everybody, Maria Marquis from Coda here. And in this video, we're going to take a look at a dock pattern that you can use over and over again as you start to expand your Coda usage or maybe just start to dip your toes in for the very first time. So in this video, we're taking a look at the pattern of email a page. And this is based off of one of my favorite drag and drop templates, which I use all the time. So the way you get to it, type slash and email a page. There it is. Slash is your entry point to everything Coda has to offer. So if you're curious if Coda has something, just type slash, you're probably gonna find it. So how this template is put together, we've got some flavor text here that you can go ahead and just get rid of, whatever you like. But the basic pattern is we have a table that has email addresses in it, and then a button that emails this page that we're looking at to those email addresses. So let's go ahead, right click, take a look. It's uh, the name of the button, so we could say, you know, send page, whatever we want to call it. We could change what the label says, so I would like an email, please, or <laughs> whatever you want it to be. It's automatically configured with Gmail, and it's sending that email to all of the email addresses in the email address table, handy little formula you've got there. And then for the subject line, what we're doing is we're just using a handy little formula called concatenate, which means put things together, just like that. In this case, we're putting together notes from and whatever today's date is, but you could change this to be whatever you like. Like instead of even using a formula, you could just call it my cool page and that's gonna be what it is. And then we're emailing the content, in this case, the email a page, and we're gonna just remove the disable here. So you can have a disable state. I find it's really not that necessary in this particular situation. You can then go ahead and just change the color and be whatever you like. All right, so now we've got our, I would like an email please, and this is going to email this particular page. So a button that sends the page to the email addresses. That's the pattern we're looking at. So now let's see how we can apply this to a couple different situations. Let's start with personal. So you can imagine here, and this is something I actually based on uh, from my own experience, something I made for my friends, is you could imagine that we're going to be going on a trip. We're gonna be meeting somewhere, and I'm the person who's in charge of making sure everybody arrives at the right time. So maybe I've put together a whole bunch of FAQs and I'm saying, hey, we're looking forward to the family reunion. So what I could do down here is I could say, here's my family list of all their email addresses. And then I could say, send me an email with the details. So this button now just emails this page to the family list email addresses. And I could change this instead of notes from today, we could call this uh, directions for family reunion. And it's gonna go ahead and change that there as well. I just wanna make sure to put this in quotes so it knows that we're not referring to anything in our doc. So now we could just say, all right, I wanna send an email, boom, just like so, it's gonna email it to everybody in the family. So that's the first one. Now, what if we're a freelancer? So maybe we have a really great newsletter that we've made in Coda. We've got a header, we're including some lines there, an image, text, all of the details, even a little copyright down here at the bottom. Also, this is one of my favorite things, this idea of creating that horizontal line. You just do slash and you can get to line and it'll give you a line separator. And you could maybe, you know, cut this and paste it in there. Go ahead and give yourself a really cool sign off, just like so. So what you could do is you could include all of your subscribers' email addresses here in this table. And then when you're ready, just send the newsletter and it's gonna email out this page. And you could keep the subscribers on a separate page. In general, I think that's a really good best practice when you're using email a page is to put the data that's powering it on a different area. But you could send out that newsletter really simply. Now, what if we're a product manager? Here, I love using this for sending out notes. Maybe you're using Coda to take all the notes for your meeting, typing in all the details in here. And when you're ready, you just put in all the teammates' email addresses in this table. And then you've got this email today's notes and it's pulling all of the email addresses from that teammates table. And we're just keeping all of this exactly the same, concatenating notes from today and just sending this particular option. So really, really easy way to just send out those notes. And one of my even better things you can do to make it even more efficient is just go over to your little gear menu, add an automation. And in this case, you could say uh, when Whenever your meeting is, maybe your meeting's from 9 to 10 on Monday, you could say at 11 a.m., then push this button of the, I think this is email page three, the importance of naming your buttons here as well. So this will just push that button at 11 o'clock on the dot, 
send out those notes so you don't even have to. Really fun little pro tip there for you. So what if we're a small business? Maybe uh, we are a small business, we're doing different certifications as people develop new skills. Well, what we could do is we could create a little sub page, like here I've done the certificate of completion. You also see it up here at the top. And I could put in the email address and the name of everybody who's completed the class. And then I could email the certificate of completion. And in this case, instead of emailing the page this button is on, notice I'm emailing the certificate of completion, which is a separate page right over here. And it's got a little uh, image, some details, so a nice way for us to kind of send that out. So it'd be a fun way to do it. So now we've got a consulting firm. So here, what we could do is maybe for a consulting firm, we're really needing to track all of our timesheets and knowing who's submitting what, when for all the different clients that we might have. So here, what we would do is we would just put in all of our active teammates into that little pre-made table. Then we have this email overdue timesheets, which if we take a look, it's uh, just emailing to the active teammates. And in this case, we'd wanna change this instead of notes from today to be timesheets do on whatever this. And then we want to have it be emailing this particular page out to everybody. So now what we could do is we could go ahead and see all of the time sheets that are submitted and not, we'd just be sending out this table information to everybody on the team. So email a page is a really great way to take all the different information that's in Coda and allow it to go out to where people are if they're in email and being able to give them the information they need to make some decisions. And again, you get to it just by typing slash and email a page. So give it a try in your docs. Let us know how it goes and I'll see you next time.